What's going on YouTube OCD for EDC here? What I got for your face balls today, we're going to be talking shamans. But in a minute, uh, we'll get to that. First off, I want to show this uh, awesome board that my wife made for me. And she put all of our contact info on here, uh, the YouTube channel uh, name, uh, Patreon, as well as Instagram. Uh, this one is mine and this one is my wife's. And then our website down here, uh, as well as we've got all of our stickers on here. So you can see the different stickers that we have to offer. Um, all these are available on our website. Uh, so go check it out, ocdforedc.com. All right, let's get into this. Uh, so we're going to take a look at a couple different knives here. Today we've got the Spyderco uh, Shaman. This is the brand new uh, Sprint Run version in Z-Wear and Canvas Micarta. Awesome knife. Uh, and, you know, definitely going to be one that's uh, very sought after for sure. So we're going to take a look at that. As well as uh, this one right here. This is the St. Nick's exclusive uh, Red G10 and black coated uh, CPM 4V uh, blade. And we are going to install uh, the new CME that I have for the Shaman. So I'm gonna show you how to do that and tell you all the info about that. So let's get into it. For those that don't know, the CME is a part that I made uh, that's an add-on to, to a lot of Spyderco compression lock knives. You can see here, this is a pair of three lightweight. Uh, I make these out of G10. Uh, I CNC machine the G10 and uh, make them to fit uh, various models. Uh, this was the first one that I released and it fits uh, a whole list of models. Uh, the Para 3, the PM2, the Caribbean, the Capara, uh, several different uh, variants. You can go to my website and see the list of knives that it fits. Uh, this same exact one will also fit the, the little native. However, I do have to modify it a bit to make room for the, the uh, little nubbin that sticks up in there. And so, you know, the little native, we got that covered as well. But the Shaman, the Shaman is completely different. So the lock area on the Shaman, uh, not only is the shape of it different, uh, it's a larger area, but most importantly, there is a big giant nub that comes up in that lock area. You can see it better here because the blade is black. Uh, so, you know, that uh, some guys will, will grind that off, uh, but I've made a CME that you don't have to modify the knife at all uh, to get it to fit in there. And so, especially for left-handed people, you know, left-handed uh, compression lock actuation is not great. Uh, you know, it's, you can do it. It's doable, uh, but it's not fantastic. Uh, compression lock is really, in my opinion, meant for right-handed people, even though uh, Spyderco markets it as an ambidextrous lock. But even uh, right-handed people, uh, I've gotten a lot of feedback on the CME, and everyone uh, really enjoys it, whether they're right-handed or left-handed. Uh, I haven't had anyone... Uh, tell me that they didn't like it after trying it. Um, so, so yeah, it's been uh, been really good. All right. So when you purchase a CME, which you can purchase them on our website right here, uh, this is what you'll get. Uh, they come in these little cloth bags. Uh, my my email address is stamped on the bag there. Info at ocdforedc.com. And so what you get in the bag, you get a sticker. Uh, It'll be one of, of all the different stickers that we, we have here, and we just randomly throw them in the bag. Uh, you also get this little piece of paper that you can see there. This is used as a shim, and it's got a link to the install video. You also get uh, the uh, super glue, a uh, little single use uh, super glue packet as well as I made a little bit of a change here and I'm including two alcohol wipes now. Uh, and I'll explain that in a couple minutes. And then of course the CME. This is a black one uh, for the Shaman, which we are going to put on 
this knife right here. All right. <clears throat> so uh, I did have uh, uh, it, one person commented on YouTube and said that they were having troubles uh, getting the CME to stick uh, to the liner. And I'm confident that uh, the reason they were having issues with that is just because it wasn't cleaned well enough. There may have been some debris or some oil, whether it was on the CME or on the actual liner itself. Now, you do not need to disassemble the knife to install this. However, if you want to uninstall it or remove it from the knife, uh, I do recommend uh, disassembling the knife at that point. Uh, you can remove it without damaging the knife at all. Uh, so if you did purchase one and you absolutely hated it, uh, you can take it off and it does not affect your knife in any way, shape, or form. So you don't have to do anything to the knife to, to, to put it on and you can remove it and you'll never know that it was there. So <clears throat> the one for the Shaman has got, it's going to be kind of hard to see because it's all black, uh, but there's a milled uh, pocket where... You can kind of start to see it there where the uh, the nub sticks up into and then there's also a uh, milled shelf on the back right here and that sits up on top of the the uh, compression lock bar so it sits like this um, and it sits just a little bit proud of the top of the scales and that's intentional uh, so you can index it Oop. And, you know, when you're uh, manipulating the knife, you can feel exactly where it is. Now, when it's installed, when the blade is closed, uh, it sits a little bit lower than the, the surface of the scale. And then when the blade is, is deployed, um, it sits just about flush uh, with the scale. Now, <clears throat> I've had a couple of people ask me, you know, in a hammer grip, uh, does it disengage? You know, does it affect anything about the, using the knife? Uh, it doesn't in my hands. Uh, you can see here, there's, my, my hand is not touching anywhere around the lock area, whether I'm doing it right-handed or left-handed. If I'm choked up or if I'm choked back in either position, uh, I don't... Uh, hit that area now everybody's hands are different and so you know it, it might be a little different for others but for me and for for everyone that I've seen so far uh, it's not been an issue so if you have an issue like that uh, I'd love to hear hear about it um, and maybe see some pictures and whatnot because you know I'm constantly trying to make these things better and whatnot okay so to install it uh, it's pretty straightforward uh, first things first, you want to make sure that the lock bar and the, the surface that you're going to glue is extremely clean. Now, uh, I'm not going to use the single use stuff here just because I have uh, larger bottles, but I'm just using same thing, alcohol, and we will clean this up and make sure it's free of any oils or debris. The, the CME has uh, been, been pretty great so far. I've had a lot of them uh, that we have shipped out and I've had a lot of people give me feedback and a bunch of guys saying that they'll, they'll never go back, uh, which is kind of funny. Uh, and you know to me it's really great uh i've had it on this para 3 lightweight as well as my maximet para 3. Uh, i carried the prototype on this particular knife uh, for about six months uh, just wanting to make sure that the glue would hold up and and you know normal use and abuse and all that good stuff uh, and it it held up really well um so uh, there have been some people that, you know, have left comments and stuff saying that, that they don't think the super glue is going to be a good way to hold this on. Uh, and I have not had any issues. I've abused it uh, pretty, you know, way harder than you're going to with just normal use and, and never had an issue. So they, uh, 
it does a good job. If you really wanted to get carried away, you know, you could scuff up the surface a little bit. Uh, but I've put a bunch of these on and not had any issues at all. So, <clears throat> all right. So after you've got your parts all cleaned up, now this is specific only to the shaman. Uh, but with the shaman, you're not actually going to use this paper shim uh, because you want to make sure that the blade uh, nubbins uh, fit into that hole perfectly. And so with the shim in there, you can't really do that. Uh, so, so at this point, once you've got your parts all clean, what you're going to do is take your glue and you're going to put uh, <clears throat> just a, a little bit on the back side. Just like that. If you can see that. It doesn't take very much glue at all. Just a tiny, tiny bit. And like I said, with the shaman, you're going to want the, the blade closed. And then put it on there, get it lined up. And then just hold it in place. And so you don't need to really push hard or anything. Uh, you just want to hold it in place and hold it tight for, you know, about 30 seconds or so. And, uh, and then once, once you're feel pretty good about it being being stuck uh, then just set it off and you need to let it sit for a few minutes uh, you don't want to start flipping the knife immediately and uh, you know I recommend le letting the knife sit for you know probably 10 minutes or so uh, before you start flipping it around now if you put too much glue on there it's not a huge deal you can clean it off um, however, you're probably going to stick your fingers to the knife uh, or the paper. And so, you know, you, you don't need much glue at all. Uh, just a couple little drops on there is all it takes. And yeah, that'll, that'll get you. Okay, <clears throat> so it's stuck. You can see what it looks like there. And there you can see how it sticks up just a little bit above the scales there and now we're going to just set this off to the side for a little bit and you can see here what it looks like now i do have these at uh, three different colors so i have the all black just like this here just all black g10 and then i have blue and black layered like this one right here and then i also have od green and black so those are the three colors that I have available right now. Uh, I will have more colors available uh, pretty soon. Uh, but for right now, it's OD green, blue, and solid black. So, uh, and just an FYI, uh, the River's Edge Cutlery knives, this matches perfectly on those knives. The OD green is, is spot on. So you can see that in, in a couple of my videos. <clears throat> uh, now, talking about the uh, the new Sprint Run Shaman, you know this is a knife that they brought out uh, after they did the uh, what what most people call the Crew Carta Shaman. Uh, that one had uh, CPM Crew Wear and Burlap Micarta. Uh, this one is Z Wear, which is almost identical steel. They're super super close. So Crew Wear and Z Wear. If you're not familiar with Z Wear. It, it essentially is crew wear. I mean, the two are, are chemically almost identical. Um, so, and this one has a little bit different micarta with canvas micarta instead of the burlap. But that original crew carta shaman was a massively popular knife. And uh, yeah, people went kind of batshit crazy for it. And so Spider Co. brought out another sprint run. And I know a bunch of people were disappointed. They wanted this one to be a full production run, not just a sprint. Uh, but, you know, it, it took them a very long time. I'm not sure what the deal was, why uh, it took so long. Because I just received this knife the other day. And I think, you know, 
it's been, I think, more than a year since they announced it. Uh, so I don't know if they had some issues manufacturing this knife. <clears throat> uh, but it's definitely a cool one, that's for sure. And Spyderco, you know, they do a fantastic job with all the steels, uh, doing good heat treats. Um, and then, you know, the quality's always there. Uh, just, a, just a great knife. And really comfortable in hand. If you're not, uh, if you have never had a shaman or handled one, uh, they're a good knife. I mean, they're pretty good size, fairly robust, uh, pretty pretty heavy knife, but it's a it's a good one for sure. The other Sprint Run that Spider Co. came out with at the same time was this uh, Native Chief in S90V and carbon fiber. So it's uh, kind of the big brother to the shaman. So the Shaman is uh, along the, or it's in the native family. So you have the little native, uh, which I have one of those sitting out here. So the little native, uh, and then there's the actual native five, uh, which would be between the Shaman and uh, the little native. And then you have the Shaman and then the native chief. So pretty interesting lineup. Uh, so the little native and the Shaman both have compression locks. The Native 5 and the Native Chief both have back locks. So, cool knife. Uh, certainly better with the CME on it. Uh, compression made easy. So let's check this, this guy out here now that it's on there. So you can see, you know, personally on the St. Nick's knife, I like the black on there. Uh, you know, everything else on this knife is, is blacked out except for those liners which you can see them up here on the back, uh, but certainly the lock area kind of stuck out like a sore thumb before. But uh, there you go. That's what it looks like. And you can see right there how it, you know, it, it doesn't stick up past the scales. Um, and it just makes it so much nicer and easier uh, to operate. And yeah, it's... It's fantastic. So, <clears throat> this knife needs to be broken a little bit, but definitely, definitely makes it way, way easier to actuate the compression lock, either right handed or left handed. So, there you go, guys. There is the brand new CME for the Spyderco Shaman. You can go and check it out on our website. Uh, www.ocdforedc.com you can purchase them there they will be live on the website later today uh, so by the time you see this video uh, they should probably be up if not they will be shortly um, but yeah thanks so much for all the support guys hopefully uh, you enjoyed this video and we will catch you next time I'm out